What is up, YouTube? It's crazy out there. Um, there's no toilet paper. There is nothing in the shops, literally. Um, but guys, yeah, so 12 weeks is what I've got to deal with. It's like I've got a prison sem sentence for something that I never did. It's quite funny, well, it's not funny. out for 12 weeks. Um, I know a lot of people um, who are in the same situation, who are just as annoyed as I am. I'm taking it pretty well after one day considering. Uh, we'll see where I am a few weeks from now, but it just means more content for you guys on YouTube. That, that's it. And yeah, I'm going to be having to occupy my time um, without going outdoors, annoyingly. So this is till June, basically. 12 weeks. 12 weeks. And, but this whole situation, the whole virus, everything, it's like bringing people together, making people realise what is important and who is important. Like, considering those closest to you, worrying about them, there's people you worry about that they can't get it in your life, people you know, um, of a certain age, or in my kind of situation, you know. Um, and there's two different types of fear out there. There's those who are panic buying and there's those who are thinking, okay, I've got to wash my hands, no shaking hands, meter distance, social distancing. Um, I've got to think about what I buy in the shops. This thing of necessary and unnecessary travel, you know. Um, think about this. Uh, all these flights being cancelled, no one flying anywhere. It's going to be a lot less pollution. Um, so all the, all the, the eco-friendly people are going to be happy, all the vegans are going to be happy. <laughs> no, but um, yeah, it's just a strange time. No one's been through this, no one alive has been through anything similar. Maybe a war is similar, what the, you know, what, the world wars, um, or like a huge economic crash, like in the 80s, um, I don't know, um, or a, a huge disaster, you know, 9-11, we've had these cataclysmic events that have changed things for not always the worst but for the better maybe and this will do that it will maybe realize what is important um, in terms of food and necessities toilet paper you know never ever has there been a toilet paper shortage because of a virus that has nothing to do with you going to the toilet so like why <laughs> um, but yeah it's going a bit crazy but I think now that people are more aware of what's going on and Boris made this stupid speech um, that, yeah, people kind of know what's going on so the panicking is kind of stopping. I mean, I've spoken to people in Italy, it's a lot worse the situation, obviously, the death toll, um, but there wasn't the same panic there has been here with buying toilet paper. They didn't go through this, just people singing on their balconies. But think about that here, like, People singing out their front doors? Nah. Um, we ain't good singers. I don't want to hear 80 million people singing Mr. Brightside. Jesus. No, sir. It's going to be crazy. But at least I've got a garden that I can go in when the weather's nicer. Um, and they do say you need vitamin D and that can hold off this virus. UV light kills it. Um, what sun do we have in England to kill it? I do not know. But that is the situation and we're making more videos where I try and stay away from the topic of this even though you can't escape it. I'm trying to help you guys escape it a bit if you're in the same situation or, you know, gonna be, you know, you never know. Everything might go on lockdown before we know it. Um, let's hope not. The schools are still open. Say what you will about that, I've got different opinions. Um, I think they should close the schools. Uh, because what about all the, all the kids that are at risk, um, similar to my situation, Pe younger people that are at risk, that are still at school, they're going to miss a lot of learning, a lot of exams and stuff in education, because they, because they can't be at school, because they're at risk, but all the other kids are going, so it's not really fair, so I think they should close the schools for everyone, so everyone can pick up where they left off, basically, and nobody's missing out, that's my view, but... Um, Got one of my friends' birthdays coming up and we're going to do 
like a what's it called? It's like a virtual party where it's like everyone on like a video call and we're like celebrating his birthday on Wednesday. So that's gonna be fun. By the time I upload this, I don't know. I've got so many videos. It doesn't really matter really. I've got twelve weeks. So whenever you know. No more Pachia football, it's all been cancelled, postponed for the foreseeable future until this is all blown over. And just take pride in the fact that you're not alone in, in suffering the fight against well, the fight against this virus. Wouldn't say suffering, but you know what I mean? The stress of it is just tiring. So we're all in the same boat. And I don't think there's ever been anything in the history that has like been so Unique, not unique, but like the opposite of unique, like common to all of us. Like, it's something we all have in common fighting against this virus, surviving it, you know, helping those less, less able to recover from it, you know, those in need, the elderly, you know. So, think about it, it's something we can all relate to race, colour, creed, whatever, um, rich or poor, you're fighting the same virus. And it's, it, it, it takes away, for me, I think it takes away people's personal worries and problems that they might have had before. They're like insignificant compared to the preservation of life, you know. The worries and the issues like that you had before, you put them to one side, they're on pause because there's a bigger issue at stake. And that's the way I see it, but don't take it too seriously. Be careful out there. Keep your distance, wash your hands, don't buy all the food and let, us up. let everyone else starve. Be kind, you know. See, there's a phone call already, guys. People are going crazy around here. But anyway, guys, um, yeah, I'm going to leave you there love you and leave you until the next video but they're mostly going to be reaction and like funny videos talking about different youtubers and stuff the ones i've been planning um yeah maybe some live streams in between might get back on call of duty there's a new warzone thing um i've got so many videos to edit but i've got time so i don't really care like i'm a week from now i probably be fed up already but we'll see just keep positive guys keep being careful out there, don't, you know, don't forget all, all these rules that, that, that we, we've got to obey, you know, because we don't want more people getting it. I mean, we don't end up like Italy, and maybe we will, maybe we won't, regardless of what we do, but we've got to look out for each other. Um, you know, the human race, <laughs> it's a virus, it's an attack on, on us, basically. It's a thing you can't see. But technically it's an attack, but there's been a mental shift in everyone's priorities, even mine. Like, well, I haven't got any choice, really, but there you go. That's the situation. I'll keep you updated. And, yeah, just take it easy, guys. Stay safe.